hi guys welcome back to the channel this is jane you welcome to the channel so today i'll be showing us how to make a jigoid sleeve if you're new here please you're welcome kindly subscribe if you're yet subscribe please also leave a comment and like in the comment section i'd love to read from you so we are making a jigoid sleeve we'll be drafting cutting and sewing up the sleeve now for you to make this type of sleeve you'll be needing your basic sleeve pattern right here i have my basic long sleeve pattern um, from the top to the wrist now from the wrist up i measured out four inches and i cut that out so the part here i cut out will be for the cuff now the cuff you don't have any specification on it depending on how long you want it to be but for the sake of this video i'm going to be making use of four inches so i've cut out four inches from my wrist upward for the cuff Okay, so now we are going to mark out lines on our sleeve. Please always note that your sleeve is on fold. And please, another thing is that this sleeve doesn't have a sewing allowance all around it. So um, I'm drafting without a sewing allowance. After spreading and slashing, I'm going to add the sewing allowance later on. Okay, so here uh, we'll be marking out all of my lines on the sleeve. You can take one inch spacing depending on how wide the volume of uh, the puff that you'll be needing for your sleeve. Okay, you can be that dramatic with your slash. There is no rules concerning this. Depending on how big you want your sleeve to be, you can go ahead and mark a lot of lines and slash so now after marking out those lines on my sleeve i'm going to cut my sleeve now i'm going to cut out those lines so i'm going to slash those lines open all the way to the top from bottom to top and when i get to the top i'll be leaving like um three centimeters before i get to the top all right so that's what i'll be doing for all of the lines that i've marked on my sleeve so here guys after i have slashed open all of my lines next thing that i'll do is to place the sleeve on a fresh pattern paper so that we can open it or spread it out so we have that volume we need for our sleeve so right here with me i have um this pattern paper here and what i'll do is to place my sleeve on it and we are going to be taping it down so also you can decide to um spread as much as you want like i've said you can spread as much as four five inches depending so here i've placed my pattern on the paper and i've spread each of the spread i have four inches apart so here after that i will now go ahead and add um all of my sewing allowances to the pattern okay so at the top i'm going to be adding um half an inch sewing allowance right there and for the side i'm just going to connect as add a little bit of 1.5 inch at the top side just to give it a little bit of puffiness at that part and then at the lower part, I'm going to be connecting all of my lines together so that we can have that curve running all across our slashed sleeve, okay? So here that is done and I have added my half an inch um, sewing allowance at the bottom as well. Now, after you've added all of the sewing allowances, the next thing is to go ahead and cut out um this pattern okay so let me say this again you can go as big as you want depending on what you're going for depending on how dramatic you want your sleeve to be all right so this is just an illustration so when you are doing yours when you are drafting yours you can take it up from there and make it as big and as wide as you want okay guys so back to the video like i said i have added half an inch at the lower part of my sleeve and that will aid in joining the sleeve to the cuff when we are about to stitch up 
um, the sleeve okay and after that I will go ahead and cut out um, this pattern so right here I have cut out my pattern and this is what we have after cutting out the pattern so here I'm done cutting out my pattern so I have transferred my pattern on my fabric and I'm going to be cutting that out please note that the fabric is on fold i'll be cutting out the two sleeves at the same time so i've placed my pattern on the folded edge of my fabric and i'm going to secure that with paint and after that i'll be cutting that out okay note that i also cut out the curve as well for the curve i wanted to have the bottom that's the lower wrist folded but my fabric wasn't enough so i've cut out two pairs for each of my sleeve and at the top of my sleeve i've placed a notch at the mid section that part is going to be uh joining joined to the shoulder to connect this the two of them together the shoulder and the sleeve now this are my cuffs i have two pairs um for each curve okay like i was saying if you have enough fabric you can just fold this into two and cut out but because my fabric was kind of short i've cut out two pairs of fab of, of fabric for each of my cuff now i will set that aside okay and then what i will do now is to take off my pins from the pattern so you see what our fabric looks like after we've cut the pattern on the fabric so here it is guys this is what my pattern looks like this is what the fabric is now if you want yours to be wider than what i have on my screen you can have as well um spread yours as much as you would want all right so uh there's no um, rule on that you can go ahead and spread as much as you wanted yours to be so here right now is my sleeve still on fold and now we need to gather the bottom of our sleeve so that it corresponds with what we have on the curve as well and for us to be able to do that, we need to run gather stitches at the lower part of the sleeve. All right. So here I have my cuff. I've joined them together. You can see what we have. And this is it, guys. I've joined the cuff for each of my sleeve. And I have also ironed it out as well. Now we have one um, cuff for each pair of our sleeve, for each of our sleeves, sorry. All right, so I'm going to set that aside and then we're going to work on the lower part of our sleeve. For the lower part of the sleeve, I have run a loose stitch on the lower part. And what I'll do here is to pick out um, the under thread that I have on my fabric and I'm going to be pulling. Now, that is how you can gather your fabric so you 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 pick out to the under thread of the loose stitch that you have run or you have on the lower part of the sleeve and you are going to just keep you know dragging the thread out just keep dragging the thread as you're dragging the thread you're pushing your fabric inward that way you are creating the gathers that will be formed on the lower part of the sleeve so you can see the way i'm doing it i'm gradually pulling my thread and then the gathers are forming up now that i'm done gathering the lower part of my sleeve this is what it looks like please ensure that you the what you gathered is the same amount of fabric that you have on your cuff so that part where we have the gathers has to match up with the parts where we are going to be joining to the um, cuff now after gathering i will take one part of my cuff i'm going to place it on top of the gathered um, fabric and i will be pinning them down from one side to the other so i'm going to be pinning both edges so that after pinning you can just take it to your machine and you're going to be stitching it by half an inch all right so here it is i've stitched my cuff on my sleeve by half an inch now what we'll do is to take the other side of the cuff flip it to the right side and then you are going to be folding in half an inch inward okay so that it will cover the stitches you have at that corner all right so here i've flipped my 
cuff to the right side and i folded it by half an inch now i'm going to run a top stitch on top of it to secure it from one edge to the other and that way the the seam we have at that side is concealed inside of the sleeve all right guys so here it is after i have done that stitch this is what we have now the next thing to do we are going to be joining the sides of the sleeve we are going to be closing off the sleeve so you can see what the sleeve looks like you can see that gathered at the bottom of the sleeve i love how the gathers came out now for us to join the sides of the uh, sleeve together you can take your pins you can go ahead and take your pins and hold all of your edges together after that you take it to the sewing machine and you're going to be stitching by half an inch so please ensure that your seams at the side of the sleeve matches each other so at the end of the day when you're done stitching them closed one of the sleeve will not be looking different from the other they will align properly all right so that's what i'm doing here i'm making sure that all of my seams at the side are properly aligned i uh, used my pins to ensure that stays in place now i will take it to my machine and i'm going to stitch by half an inch all the way from the underarm to get to the wrist all right guys so this is basically it for this sleeve i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please let me know in the comment section like the video share my video and subscribe to the channel i will see you guys in my next one please watch out for how i attach this sleeve to the bodies of the dress we are making coming up very soon thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next one bye